Hi, Jarrell. Coach Anna here, and today I want to talk about how we're pressing through our feet. So when we're talking about the rowing stroke, we often talk about how we're engaging the muscles in our legs and our core and our arms, right? But what's going on in our feet oftentimes can tell us what's going on in our legs and up through the rest of our body. So today I want to talk about how to press through the ball of your foot, your heel, keep those feet pressed down. A good way to, to test this out is just to loosen your straps a little bit so you're not relying on them too much. And we want to think about, you know, at this catch position, when we're getting ready to drive, we might be up on the balls of our feet a little bit more than the heels, right? That's going to depend on your ankle and Achilles flexibility here and your mobility at the catch. Uh, but as soon as we start to drive, to push our hips back to push away using our legs or muscles in our thighs. We want to think about getting your heels down because that's going to help you engage the muscles in the back of your leg, your glutes and your hamstrings, your hamstrings and your glutes. So we want to think about getting your heels down, pressing through your whole foot, similar to standing up or something like that, kicking away like if you were kicking down a door or something like that. And then as we continue to drive our legs down, it's important to keep the balls of your feet pressed and not fight those straps. Wanna, your body has a tendency to wanna bring those feet up. Keep them down by squeezing the muscles on the tops of your thighs. They're also known as the quads. Keep those feet down because that's gonna help you finish with power and not lose that connection that press in your legs. Your legs are the foundation of the stroke and they're gonna help you find some more power in the second half when you finish with your body and your arms.